Take a look at this. This is how the text looks like when typing on a MacBook. Now compared to this text on Windows, it almost looks like Mac has this smooth, nice font rendering which is extremely pleasing to the eye and Windows just couldn't be bothered to make it less pixelated and harsh. At least this is what I think. In order to see why this is the case, we have to look at something that's called font rendering. You see, Mac OS and Windows have different end engines for rendering fonts and that's why their text comes out looking different on the screen. But then why? Well, the short answer is that Windows, like the majority of people, don't really care about how beautiful font looks like on their screen. Rather, they care about how readable it is and how accurately displayed it is, but Apple is complete opposite. According to this random person, Windows renders fonts with the intent of making the letters more clear, whilst Mac renders the fonts to be more true to how they would look like in a printed book. In other words, in Windows, the text is optimized for on-screen readability and on Mac the rendering is done as what you see is what you get when printing. I know these are extremely well researched and credible sources, but bear with me. Naturally, the question of which way is better comes up. So of course, there are pros and cons to each of the font rendering methods. Whilst the Apple way may appear nicer on the screen, because Apple wants the letters and words to be formed as accurately to real life as possible, if the spacing between letters is not accurate, the OS simply tries to adjust the font, so for instance, Instance, two of the same letters put together on a Mac may not be of the equal thickness. And because windows do not perform this adjustment, the letters have the same thickness but tend to line up slightly less consistently with bigger or smaller gaps between them. Windows's priority is to keep the text accurately placed in the grid of pixels to keep it as sharp as possible, whilst Mac focuses on aesthetics rather than accuracy. Also, especially at smaller font sizes, Apple gets to cheat a little, because most Macs are attached to an Apple screen and they can cherry pick what looks best on their own hardware, whereas Windows has to contend with some crappy, low resolution screens out there. That's why macOS's subpixel anti-aliasing makes text look a lot smoother, especially at medium font sizes. So have you ever even noticed the difference in fonts on both of these operating systems? And if so, do you prefer Mac or Windows way of displaying fonts? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still open-minded about learning something interesting, consider watching this video next.